Hi YouTubers, it's George. I'm in the garage. This is the toaster for slot toaster. Um, we've had it a while and um, it's been a bit problematic and at the moment it it works but it won't hold down the levers unless you slam it down. I had this problem before and it's to do with the <coughs> magnetic solenoids whereas once you put power it should stop down it's only if you slam it down it sort of works and it's generally to do with crumbs it's a bad design these crumb trays get absolutely full obviously they are like most toasters but for some reason it gets into the electronics or the electrical relays and things so I've got to take it apart clean it out and um, maybe adjust the contacts and see if I can get it to work otherwise I'll have to buy a new one I can't remember what make it is oh it's a Russell Hobbs so it's quite a good one it's stainless steel sides and um, I'm going to take it apart the first thing is to remove the, these slider knobs here and what you need to do is get a pair of pliers put it on the knob like that and then using a flat screwdriver you prise the knob off but you don't prise it against the metal case you, you grip the metal bit there and then use a screwdriver against whatever you're gripping it with rather than try and do it like that otherwise you can bend the levers so that's that off next thing I'm going to turn it upside down now I'm doing a single handed out and then there's you've got to release the cable grip there there's two uh, positive Phillips heads and then there's screws in each corner and they've got to come out and it's needed a long uh, screwdriver to get down these holes to get these out that's interesting that one's loose look let's get that one out in there. That's a bit tight. Excuse the poor lighting in here. Get a lot of reflections. That one's out. Okay, let me get these screws out. Okay, it looks like it's been dropped because this is broken. It's not a big issue, I don't think. But once the four screws are off and the cable grip here is off this can be lifted off and, th and threaded down the cable out the way and this is looking at the main electrics these are the heating element connections and these are the terminal blocks so I'm just going to dust this out I've got a, an old paintbrush I use for getting rid of crumbs and then um, I think you have to remove the front knob here which I think is a push fit but I can't really remember so um, give me a minute and I'll uh, have a quick look how it all comes apart okay it um, just basically lifts out but there's a connect here on the control board you have to unplug like that and then this mechanism the guts will lift it out like that. I've got full of crumbs. Let's get that brushed out. Okay, I'll try and show you this. Right, this is a main timer control board with a timer there. And each end, because it's a double toaster, I don't know whether you can see, they're electromagnets. There's one each end. So when you push it down, when it gets power, the magnets hold this down like that. And when um, it's reached its timing period or the temperature of the toast, it releases this magnet here, electromagnet, 
So coil and a piece of metal there and it will flick up with the toast and it's the same there's one there as well see it and that holds it down now then so where's the electrical connections which um, senses that the toast has been pushed down right there on the reverse side let's uh, turn it around And these are the electrical connections here. See them? They're there and there. So when this goes down, I don't know if you can see, just there, there's electrical connections. Alright? And those, they're here. And what can happen is you get crumbs can get in between the connections and it stops them closing. All of the electrical connections here need cleaning and that's what I'm going to do now. I don't know whether you can see it but this is the amount of crumbs that have come out of this toaster. Well I just did the switches and uh, put some new screws in it etc but um, the plastics had it brittle it's broken so this is a failure I've been able to fix it but um, yeah it's going out for the scrap <laughs>